What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Jesse and myself, Nick, are here again to do another vlog for you guys. We are excited to be back. We are excited to be back in action. We are excited to just be done with some things. I thought someone was knocking on the door, but I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> That's crazy. We're not that lucky. <laughs> so uh, today is a sombersome day, right? Yeah, yeah, bittersweet. It, right? it marks the what? Is it the 17th? It'll be the 17th anniversary. Of the 9-11, uh, the day our country was attacked. Everyone has their own issues, opinions, uh, and outlook on the situation. But what I do know, what you can argue, is that a lot of lives were lost on that day and uh, a lot of uh, first responders also. We just uh, wanted to say uh, we're sorry for anyone who lost a family on that day. And uh, we just, uh, we, we take off our hats when uh, we have a moment of silence for all the, the veterans who serve this country and the first responders uh, that serve our country every day to help keep us safe. And uh, oh, there's that hat head, you gotta love that hat head. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, Thing to say about today. Jesse. I think they're also, uh, to be objective about it, they're also events that happen that uh, change the the way we do things forever, for sure. You know, yeah. and change the course of our lives. That that was something that happened for me was that uh, I woke up September 11th, and uh, my older brother came in, told me what happened, and uh, I was working at Big Five Sporting Goods selling shoes. That was about the extent of what I had going on at the time. And uh, I felt the call to go and serve, and so I joined the Navy. And uh, here I am today, 17 years later, back in New York uh, after what happened. Uh, I would go on and do electronics in the Navy, fix aircraft and stuff, and go work at Disneyland. I had a, a lucrative career at uh, Disneyland. Um, and now I'm here, and now I get to uh, enjoy all the fruits of my labor, but, but come back. And actually, it was really awesome to go and see the, um, the memorial a few weeks ago when in the city. You guys to see where the, um, the the memorial sites, the big holes in the ground, stuff. That was that was really really um, awe inspiring for sure, to say the least. Good. Yeah, it's yeah. Hard, it's hard to be there, even though I had I didn't have any family that was lost in 9/11 or or knew anybody at that. Um, but it's just I, it's hard to fight the tears when I'm there, keep them back, you know, because just it's one of those areas where you walk in and you know you just know right away what happened here before and like the horrific images that come to your head from the, the news reels and whatnot. But uh, yeah, if you haven't uh, visited the 9-11 uh, Memorial in New York City, I, I suggest you go and uh, check it out. Um, it's definitely something that you can uh, go and see and experience and have respect for uh, the situation and the lives that were lost on that uh, on that day. Um, yeah, so uh, what do you have in your cup today? What are you drinking? I am a Pepsi man through and through. Through and through, so mm -hmm. every day he, he drinks Pepsi. That's what I do. That's what I do. Here's a little fun fact for you. When It's a Small World opened at the World Fair, uh, circa year unknown, the original sponsor was Pepsi. That's really? Cool. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, it's a small world. Like, it's a small world. Uh, that's right. That's right. Wow. It's, it was actually meant to be a portable attraction. Really? Yes. It's a, it's, it, was, it was meant to be a portable attraction. They took it to the World Fair, set it up, and uh, um, it was originally sponsored by Pepsi. They brought it back to the park. Um, what park? Disneyland. 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 That's right. That's right. Uh, but it did get a new makeover uh, a few years back. Here's another little fun fact for you. Uh, they determined that the average American has gained an extra 15 pounds. And they determined that from uh, on the amount of boats that were bottoming out uh, in the flume. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. Amazing, right? <laughs> the boats right? were bottoming out because of our weight. That's right. We as <laughs> we assume that nobody knows what's really going on inside of us, right? And uh, all the while, you know, we're gaining weight every single day. You know, eventually someone's gonna find out, and Disneyland did, and they were able to make a make a very drastic assumption, or uh, not even an assumption, but it was it was literally a fact that they mm -hmm. had to redo the flumes and make them deeper so that the, the boats could sink a little deeper in the water. Yeah. Why do you think that we're Americans are fifteen percent heavier? More of a weight. Oh man. I think it's too much good food. It's too, too much, right? Yes. Yes, too many options. I also think that uh, that we don't have to work enough for our food, you know? I, don't, I think uh, if you had to walk a couple miles to uh, get your meal. So it's and convenient. You may miss, yes. I think convenience is definitely the name, yeah. It's not convenient anymore, though, when you, have, when you have to roll out of bed and 
That's right. Like Waddle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so Pepsi. Yes. What do you got, Nick? Uh, blueberry soda from Maine uh, right here. My first time having I bought the other day at the market with Jesse. You guys all know about me and Jesse in the market. We like to go to the market. Yes. And uh, it's it's good. It's uh, caffeine-free, which I like. I don't like caffeine in any of my drinks. Really? I did not know that. Yes. Wow. That is very true. And it says, Maine under the authority of Maine Root Berwick, Maine. And uh, it looks like it's all, well, as natural as you can get it. <laughs> it's natural. <laughs> Ingredients, carbonated pure water, fair trade certified organic cane sugar, and blueberry juice. And it's caffeine free. And if you look at it, there's really not many ingredients put into this. This is, I mean, look at the nutrition facts. I don't know about some nutrition facts. At least none that they're sharing that. with you, right? right? What's that? At least none that they're sharing with you. <laughs> That's so true, man. That's so true. <laughs> I love, I love going to different... Uh, and experiencing different uh, mom and pop shops and experiencing one of a kind uh, novelties, you know, like yeah. the old cherry soda, that kind of stuff. Before there was a oh, I love cherry soda, it was so common. Birch beer, we've had birch beer, right? Gone Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh, love it. It's a nice clear uh, uh, beer beverage. I, what do you call that? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to stay away. A soft drink. A soft drink. There we go. Carbonated soft drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was yeah. good though. I enjoy birch beer. Yes, yeah, so you have to walk delicately delicately around that beer. The beer term. That's the right. beer word. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like root beer, but it's made out of a birch tree. Yeah. Uh, or the birch root rather than the actual root of root beer, which is I don't know what tree it is. It, is it spruce? Or, I mean, what? There's some small plant. My uncle took me camping one day, and he's like, you can "Pull the root and start sucking." I'm like, "What are you doing, bro?" Wow. And he's like, well, "Taste it. It's root beer." And I went, "Wow, it is amazing." That's what it comes from. But uh, I don't know where the the root beer ingredient main ingredient comes from. Hmm. But I know birch beer obviously comes from the birch tree. It has to. I mean, it just would make sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys know anything about where birch beer originates from or how it's made, just leave a comment below. And, and uh, yeah, definitely. I'd like to know. Yeah, a little fun fact about trees. Uh, we were at the U.S. Open and there was this Hindu guy named Ven. We called him <coughs> Ven. And, oh, and, that uh, dude was cool. He was amazing. And uh, so every once in a while I'd ask him for a Venism, right? And one of the ones he did share with me was grow together but not too close. The cypress and the oak do not grow in each other's shadows. It's pretty good. Pretty Ooh. Good. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty amazing. So, what do you think that means? Like that you can grow together but don't rely on each other? Uh, yes. And don't get too close. Yes, yes, yes. You don't. You never want to get too close to somebody and ride somebody's coattails, right? Mm. So to say. That's very so important. So to speak. But um, very important. Uh, and there's, there, you know, if, if you think about the the tree, if most trees need their own sunlight, right? Mm -hmm. You can never. You can never um, grow off of somebody else's light, you know? So whatever is feeding somebody else is not going to feed us, yeah. So mm. it's not enough for us to just, just feed off of somebody else. That's right, you can't. That's right. You have to let others flourish. Absolutely. You train them up, mm -hmm. and then you dispatch them. Yep, yep. Raise them up and send them out. That's right. That's good. Definitely is good. It's a good good piece of uh, wisdom to share in any aspect, aspect, aspect of our lives, right? Definitely. Mm -hmm. What did you do this afternoon? I saw you sent me a picture of you saying, uh, I was saying, cheesing? Yes, yes. I was, uh, I took the iPhone 7 out with the, with the monopod and I was taking little pictures, practicing my transitions, right? Mm. Um, on the iPhone 7 in 4K, just checking it out. Uh, went to the store, I got a haircut. Um, yeah, you're looking uh, pretty handsome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, I paid my cell phone bill and uh, went down to the shop. And so I saw uh, Best Market down the street has this fantastic selection of cheese. Mm. And uh, so I decided to sit in front of it and take a picture. <laughs> did you get any cheese? Hashtag cheese. And I got an Annie pasta salad is what, mm. I, what I did do. A little sausage and cheese. Mm. It was fantastic. Trying to eat healthy, right? Not as much uh, junk food. I did bring uh, some barbecue chicken home for... Uh, that was good. Yes, yes. Best Market does have some good barbecue stuff, amazingly enough. <laughs> when we were setting up for the vlog, he, he brought in this, this like, whole half a quarter chicken leg, thigh, wing, foot. And he's like, here, you can have it. I'm like, oh, okay. And that thing was delicious. It was like a like a teriyaki barbecue or something. Teriyaki barbecue? I feel like I'm wearing it still in my mouth. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did we check our faces before we started this? No, 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 no. Yeah, neither did I. Everybody's going to know what we did. For the next I feel like I got some kind of chicken niche thing going on on my lips. All up in them stash. Just wait till we get the scratch and sniff videos, you know? Like, oh. Or 
Yoders or whatever. Mm. You know, back at, at Disneyland, a Disney fun fact for you, they purposely will uh, uh, put odors into the air, you know, to cause mm. certain sort of effects. Emotions, maybe? Even. Yes, emotions. The popcorn stands, those things will have, uh, they use little scent beats. Um, and uh, California, soaring over California. I don't think it's soaring over California. What is it? Soaring? Soaring over California. Oh, okay. They use like a lime. They would use lime and then uh, mm. citrus, a citrus smell as they are going over the orange groves. Uh, Monsters Inc. would use lemon. They almost smell like lemon Fruit Loops at some point. They would use lemon scent beads. All sorts of crazy stuff. Well, memory is tied to smell the best, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I remember every time I smell the rain that hits the pavement. It just reminds me of when I was a kid back in my grandmother's house. Mm. Mm. My dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Smells, <laughs> sights, and sounds. <laughs> it's great. So listen, if you guys are watching... If you have any requests of things you want us to do, just leave a comment below in the comment section, and uh, we'll try to do our best to, to have an adventure uh, around that idea or request. Uh, we're out here in Long Island. There's things you guys ever wanted to see in the city. We have no problem traveling to the city and just making it happen, having an adventure. Yeah. Even maybe a challenge or something. As long as it's in the confines of being respectful. Respectable and uh, edifying. We'll, we'll try to honor some challenges if you guys have any requests. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I want to give a shout out to my boy Savon. Uh, cool dude. Worked with me at Ben & Jerry's this year at the 2018. 2018 United States Open in Flushing Meadows, Queens, New York. Uh, I don't like tennis. I like nothing about it. I'm not interested yeah. in it. Yeah. But every year we go and work the U.S. Open. And in this stand, uh, Savon just rocked it, man. Christina too. But Savon, man, you were just... You were amazing. You pulled up your bootstraps, you cowboyed up every day, and you made it happen. And I'm very proud of you, my friend. And I will be hanging out soon. Whoa, is that it? Yeah. All right, bro. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Jesse. This is Nick. And we are happy to be here for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And hit that comment. bell. And comment. Yeah. And yeah. hit the bell for hit notifications. Bell. That's right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Later. Later.